Hi guys, welcome back to Defy Daily. Today I want to talk about secret network that is focused on privacy. It's a topic that not many people are talking about, but I think that is quite interesting to start for at least a moment and think about which are the implications of this kind of you know, blockchain, because secret is a blockchain. We will give a look to what are the main protocols, what is the advantage of using secret network against any other uh, blockchain, plus we will give also a look to the price action and what could be a, a target price that we can imagine into the next future. Just before to start, guys, remember that this channel is not about giving you financial advice, but is about learning and understanding what's going on into the DeFi space. Remember, the more you know, the better are your decisions. Plus, if you want to also stay updated about the different topics that I'm discussing into the channel, remember to subscribe. And if you want to also help me, leave a big thumbs up and drop a comment. Okay, let's start immediately. What is a secret network? It is a blockchain, exactly as Ethereum or any other blockchain, but it is built on top of the SDK of Cosmos. I don't know if you knew, but also Terra, the Binance Smart Chain, Osmosis are all built on top of the SDK of Cosmos. Also, Cosmos is another ecosystem that maybe it deserves more attention because many updates has just come out on Cosmos. That's also the reason why you have seen into the last couple of months the price of Cosmos growing. And the reason is because it is becoming like a dot, the Polkadot ecosystem that has dot the Polkadot as a core for the security and it is something that can bring some advantage to the whole ecosystem plus also to the price of Cosmos. In any case, that's a topic that we will talk about another time. Today I want to just focus on secret network. And the reason why I think that this network is quite interesting is because it is focused fully on privacy. In the moment when we talk about privacy, there are several different solutions into the blockchain. The most famous is probably Monero, that is a blockchain built in order to secure privacy. Secret network is quite different because the privacy is not related to the blockchain, but to the smart contract. And it is going on at the level of hardware, at a hardware level. So all the privacy is guaranteed by a smart contract that is not exposing uh, all the details about the transaction. For example, it is saying that a certain kind of wallet has interacted with a specific smart contract, but you don't know the output and what happened with the uh, interaction into the smart contract. And it's something that is pretty interesting because as you know, into the whole world, one of the most important topic is about privacy. Privacy that could be related to the data that we use on the internet, to the data related to all the information that the different hardware, uh, the IoT, the Internet of Things is collecting. So the whole privacy topic is something that is going to be every day more important. And at least in my opinion, I expect that sooner or later, also applications that are using a uh, some kind of blockchain in order to guarantee a certain kind of level of privacy could be a, one of the next future trend. Obviously, there are many different uh, variables and many different problems that we have to solve in order to achieve this kind of result. At this point, the secret network technology is still into a first phase and to a really, let's call it primitive phase where a lot has still to be developed in order to reach the goal to have a blockchain that is scalable and it is able to solve the different problems about uh, privacy and security that are typical to the traditional market. But the reality is that uh, also as uh, your personal knowledge, give a look to the different protocols and the different uh, blockchains that are focused on privacy. Because even if right now nobody is talking because uh, when, the moment when we are talking about secret network, uh, just to give you an idea, uh, the total value locked is almost uh, nothing. We are talking about just a couple of, uh, uh, not even 100 million. On the other side, also the price of secret network, we have just a market cap of not even one billion. So we are talking about an overall project, an overall blockchain that is still quite young and has still a lot to demonstrate. On the other side, it is undeniable that having 
this kind of level of privacy at a smart contract level. So the blockchain, the infrastructure could be a standard infrastructure, let's say in this way, but on the other side, the smart contract, so the way that they are processing the different information, it is something that is able to guarantee to you the level of privacy that you require. At this point, as you can see from the website of Secret Network, there are not so many dApps uh, active. In the moment when we talk about uh, DeFi protocols on uh, Secret Network, we have just seven of them. And if we try also to increase, for example, we can include uh, communication, we, we will see that there are just two of them more on top of the ones that we have seen about DeFi. It is interesting that, for example, you here you have a private and secure messaging app that protects your data and identity when communicating online. So that's another use case that uh, in a network that is enabling you as smart contract is protecting your data. It is something that can be applied and can be leveraged in order to build this kind of application. In any case, we are just at the beginning. Right now, I want to show you a couple of different protocols that are working on a secret network. I want to start with a Siena. Siena is a young protocol that is a, like a DEX. It is enabling us to make some kind of swap. Here you can find the Siena swap. You have also a couple of other features like the farming feature, because in order to provide you the swap feature, you have to add liquidity in order to give you enough uh, liquid to provide uh, this kind of swap without uh, so much uh, slippage. What is uh, uh, the advantage of having uh, DAX on secret uh, network is that uh, it is preventing front running. So it's not permitting to the people that want to take advantage from uh, the information that are published into the uh, blockchain in order to leverage them and to add liquidity in order to, uh, let's say, arbitrage some kind of a uh, situation. Through uh, the secret network, it's not uh, anymore possible for the simple reason that you don't know what is uh, for real happening into that kind of block. Uh, uh, similar to uh, Siena network, there is a, a secret swap that is another protocol that is uh, allowing you to uh, do swap and some kind of farm. Remember that in the moment when we are using both of the protocols, we are still talking about protocols that are quite small. As you can see, for example, on Secret Swap, the daily volume is just one million dollar, and total the overall liquidity is just thirty nine million. So we are still talking about something really small. What is the risk of using something really small? First of all, the slippage in the moment when you are uh, providing, you are doing some kind of swap could be quite high. Secondly, it means also that uh, no real stress test has been done into the uh, secret uh, swap into this protocol, for example. So it means that uh, it is still at a really young stage and a lot can happen and a lot of stress tests, a lot of hacks, a lot of problems can happen into the future. I don't say that they will, I'm just saying that a protocol that is just so young, it is much more risky than a protocol that is more established. Another protocol is quite interesting, probably is the most interesting one, is Shade Protocol. That is like um, uh, an algorithmic uh, stable coin, like uh, you can think about it uh, as a uh, uh, Luna and a uh, uh, UST. It's slightly different the system. I will not go into the details right now. I wanna just share with you that uh, also on uh, the secret network, they are trying to develop uh, some kind of uh, stable coin because remember, in the moment when we are talking about DeFi, the core system is based on stable coins. In order to have a, a, an ecosystem that is able to grow, it needs uh, some kind of stable coin that is the point of reference for the whole uh, ecosystem. And in the moment when we are talking about uh, secret network, this is something that the uh, Shade Protocol is trying to do. In any case, as you uh, can understand from uh, the total value locked in the whole ecosystem, but also from the different protocols that are just, as you can see, for example, here into the, this menu, you will see that Siena Land is coming soon. Siena Launch is coming soon. Siena DAO is coming soon. Everything is just coming soon. And that's also the reason why at this point, the secret protocol, the secret network, or better, the secret token is just so small in terms of a market cap. 
In any case, that's a project that I don't have in my portfolio right now, but I decided to share it with you because I think that uh, it is something that uh, it is working literally on a hot topic, an important topic that uh, more protocols, more blockchains will start to think about into the next future. Because in the moment when we are talking about blockchain, the uh, natural extension is uh, privacy. If we are able to build something that is uh, um, able to guarantee privacy, but on the other side could be also compliant, because the main risk in the moment when we are talking about uh, uh, privacy is that uh, some regulation will come and will say, okay, guys, I understand that you want to defend the privacy and so on, but uh, us as uh, uh, regulators, we are not allowing this kind of behavior because it's putting at risk uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, transparency policy or whatever. So it is a really delicate uh, uh, topic, and that's one of the reasons why we haven't seen yet an explosion of this kind of protocol. And that's also the reason why Monero, for example, is suffering a lot, because it is something that the regulators are not seeing in a good way. On the other side, it is undeniable that if we are able to build some kind of smart contract that has some real use case, and it is able from one side to guarantee the uh, minimal requirements to be uh, compliant, and on the other side, giving to the users uh, some tools that is compliant, but at the same time is able to uh, defend their privacy at best. This is something that can have a, a great future, and that could be a really powerful tool for uh, all the blockchain users about DeFi, but all the dApps that can be built on top of uh, this uh, uh, network. So that's the reason why I'm following closely, or at least I'm starting to dig uh, every day more about uh, this uh, uh, blockchain, because I think that it could be interesting also for the next future. Guys, let me know what you think about Secret Network. Will it be able to succeed into the next future? If yes, if not, let me know what do you think about it. What is your uh, favorite DAX into this uh, uh, ecosystem? And if there is some news that I'm missing that you would like to share about this uh, uh, blockchain, I will be more than happy to listen from you. Guys, thank you for following me. Remember, if you want to stay always updated, press the subscribe button and also leave a big thumbs up and drop a comment to help me grow and reach more people. Guys, see you tomorrow. Bye.